failed everything, but I did okay, I think. Nobody's dead yet. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I would rather nothing changed. If I visit the dungeons, no effect. Well, that sounds nice. Let's visit the dungeons! Swords. Beauty. Alright, I'm practicing with a sword. I drill with a partner attacking and blocking in carefully timed patterns. Oh, that's good. You have unlocked a new outfit. Yay, I have a fighter outfit. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. <gasps> you finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. Oh, who will I dance with? All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. You let your eyes rest upon each in turn as you have been taught, impressing upon them that you are not a child, but a queen. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kigal alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. You look around the room at all your possible partners, which is to say, everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want, and you will not be denied. Ah, uh, who should I dance with? Someone uh, <laughs> about my age, younger than me, older than me, already married, or someone scandalous. Let's dance with someone scandalous. You don't want everyone assuming that whoever you pick first is your intended marriage partner, so why not make your choice as ridiculous as possible? With that in mind, you approach the Duchess of Ursel. You admit to yourself that you were hoping such an outrageous act would cause her to lose some of her composure, but she remains unruffled. At least the chorus of shocked whispers around you as you take your place on the floor is gratifying. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Unfortunately, you lose track of which steps you're supposed to do when and trip over your own feet. Oops, oh man, I had a lot of dance. That sucks. Between the dances, there's time for guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. During a lull in the music, Banlin, Banyan, the Duke of Maurice, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I might have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Not only does she protect our borders, but she has begun to address the long-standing problem of a shortage of heirs. My sister is proud to do her duty, as of course are others, such as myself and our lovely new queen. You can almost hear the coarse eyebrows being raised. May I have this dance, fair lady? Uh, I... yeah, sure. Certainly. He pulls you close, his hand possessive of your waist, as the orchestra swings back into motion. His head above yours angles to murmur words that you hope no one else can hear. You realize that you have just admitted to all your guests that you and I are having an affair. What? If you don't marry me now, your virtue will be stained. That's not fair. Little in life is fair, your highness. Was it fair to force my sister to marry her enemy? I need heirs, and so do you. I am the highest ranking eligible man in the domain. You clearly could not wed your own father or uncle. Young Elath is still a child, and the Duke of Kigal is happily married. I'm the only match worthy of you. You have a point. You are, of course, too young to marry until after your coronation. You will need time to prepare. Don't be sad. I want what's best for both of us and our domain. Oh, that's so sad. I see the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you, and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lilla, and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school, in the absolute terror of the, of the ball fields. No Bryony. She said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together, the Duke Consort clutching his Duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sight of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? Oh, I didn't sense magic. I feel like I'm gonna die soon. Oh, was that a bad decision? Let's save the game. I think that was a bad decision. But that's okay. Um... I'm going to learn how to fight, so let's keep playing sports and getting angry. Apparently I'm getting quite willful too. Let's see my war outfit. Tabard. Oh, look at that. That's not bad at all. The ability to strike at a target, to strike a target at range.
Look at that, I'm getting good at uh, archery. An engagement present? You open the box to reveal a little glass figure of a dancing girl, her hands held above her head. Uh, display it. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. You are too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Siren, not a member of your circle. She's a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old, as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. How dare she make a move on your father? Uh, I'm going to shame her with silent scorn. You meet her eyes and imagine your mother's disapproving presence behind you. Her color pales and she releases her grip on your father's arm, mumbling an apology before hurrying out of the room. You have defeated her. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. This is the path that you have set us on. What do you mean? Your acts have made everyone think about preparations for the future. Caloris needs an heir. My brother, your uncle Armand, is looking for a wife as well. One of us, at least, must produce more children. But, Mama, nothing can ever replace your mother. But we all have to do things that we don't want to do. <sighs> You should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. I am paying attention to what's around me. Man, I have no intrigue. Uh, that's terrible. But that's okay. Right now we're working on being super violent and whatnot. I guess I could visit the dungeons. Okay. We're going to work on uh, one more of archery and pole arms. Yeah. I think that's fair. Right? Except that I should remove my outfit. There we go. My presence is 100. That's a good presence, holy cow. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead with archery and pole arms. Seems crazy, but let's do it. Oh my god, why would you do that to me? I'm like point, oh my gosh, I'm point, what is that, 21 points? Point two one away from 100. You practice long distance shooting, and you practice shooting at moving targets. You practice standard attacks and sweeps with a long staff. You practice sparring with a partner using a staff. Okay. It is the time of year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there's always some room for discretion. Ay ay ay. Uh. Let's lower taxes. <laughs> okay. Still angry, eh? Alright, we can, uh, visit the dungeons. How are the skills? Pole arms is pretty high. We could probably max pole arms. We'll work on swords as well. No, let's just max pole arms. You practice special techniques with a staff, such as twirling it or using it to vault. You practice basic techniques with a long spear, controlling your thrust to penetrate specific targets. You practice basic swings with a halberd, building up your arm strength while learning to control the movement. You practice sparring with a wooden halberd versus a wooden sword, learning the dangers of overextending or allowing your opponent in too close. You practice with unusual weapons, such as the spite staff, the sword staff, and the volge. You have nothing more to learn about pole arms. Well, there you go. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. They used me. They twisted my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming. She tried to save me, and the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestesses to bless me and make me clean again. Demons that make you attack people. Is that even possible? You know what? Let's, uh... Um... 
Let's imprison him. No, execute him. That's kind of scary that there's a demon that might be in him. So if I imprison him, the demon will come out. If I pardon him, the demon might come out. But if I execute him, the demon will definitely come out. No, I'm not so sure. Uh, probably safer just to execute him. I don't care whether there were demons or not. You're still a murderer and your life is forfeit. You will be hanged in public as a deterrent for future criminals. Yes, your majesty. Oh, I guess he's dead. Yay. Okay, what do we want to work on? I think our weapons are pretty much done skis right now. So, let's work on... Nothing. Willful and angry? Willful and angry could work. Let's do it. <laughs> Petty thieves and troublemakers, now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeming the, seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. There must be a better way. Alright. Skills. I could work on my military. I've maxed my pole arms. So, with that in mind, let's, let's do that. Let's work on military. Uh, which is under here of strategy naval strategy logistics uh, there we go logistics and strategy You received word of an unfortunate incident at the gallows where the man you judged was sent to be executed. As he was led to the platform, he suddenly lashed out with explosive magical power, killing several guards and spectators before making his escape. The population is buzzing with rumors of a secret cabal of evil lumens who sacrifice innocents in their dark rituals. Uh-oh. I knew there was something wrong with him. Uh, let's increase... Cheerful? I guess we'll go to attend the service. Um, yeah, logistics and strategy isn't bad. There we go, I'm getting okay. I feel like I'm about to die. Uh-oh, I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan, and Duke Regent of Elath has passed away. This isn't really a surprise, he was pretty old. The problem is the political implications. With the control of Elath in doubt, it falls to the crown to make decisions. Young Lord Adair will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Arise, the Duchess of Lilla, has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Uh... Okay, I know nothing... The boy does have a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar, or you might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. Uh, I guess we can let Arise become more powerful. Send him to my uncle? Leave him with Arise. Uh oh, we'll see what that does for us later. Do I want to keep going on warfare, or do I want to try cheerful? What could make me more cheerful? Oh, man. Um, walk in the gardens. Okay. Let's walk in the gardens. I think I'm still, still angry, which is good. Which should give me, you know... The chance to boost my strategy and naval strategy and logistics and all the fun things in life. <clears throat> okay, that's what we'll do. See, I'm starting to think that, uh, I mean, there's certain things I'm noticing about the game, right? And, uh, okay, I've unlocked a new outfit, which is nice, but I wonder how high the requirements are for most of these things. Oh, there is a woman here to see you. She is a musician and wishes crown patron.